Rhodes earlier testified he was sworn in at that time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Detective Burroughs, uh, there was testimony yesterday about the phone extraction that was turned over to Cornerstone this summer. Uh, were you the one who turned that extraction over? Yes, sir. And there were photos removed from that extraction. Is that accurate? That's correct. What was the reason that they were removed from the extraction that was turned over to Cornerstone? There was evidence <coughs> of uh, defendant's girlfriend, Julie Stetsky. There were nude images, and there was also nude uh, videos of the defendant's girlfriend on his phone that because of her age, we could not turn over to the force uh, of Now, when they were removed from the extraction? That's correct. Right. Now, you had an opportunity to review the second phone extraction of the defendant's iPhone that was conducted on January 13, 2016. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, did you locate any text messages between the defendant and Julie Stensky for the time period of October 13, 2016? when Brendan died and November 23rd, 2000. No, I did not. There were no SMS messages on the phone at that time? I don't recall there being any, any messages at all. Between the two of them? Correct. Right. Now what about uh, on November 23rd, 2016? Did you locate text messages between November 23rd, 2016 and January uh, 13th, 2016 when the second extraction was conducted? Yes, sir. And uh, what format were those messages uh, that you looked at? They were in time message, um, which indicated to me that there were two options exchange messages. And were those they between the defendant and Julie Stensky? Yes, sir. Now, were you able to compare the second phone extraction with the first phone extraction? Did you know the least? Yes, sir. Did we able to determine what uh, had been deleted between the two? Yes, sir. And what was uh, deleted uh, before October 13th, 2015? Almost every conversation between the defendant and his girlfriend for the first time. Now, the iMessages that were exchanged between the defendant's phone and Julie Stinson at the time period uh, when they started messaging using iChat on November 23rd, 2015, and again, ended on November 13, 2016. How many iMessages were exchanged between that time period? I'm oh, sorry, repeat, repeat, repeat the basic answer. Sure. How many iMessages were exchanged between the defendant and Julie Stensi from November 23, 2015 and January uh, 13, 2016? It was uh, 9,700. How many calls and call logs between the two of them from the night of October 13, 2015 when the defendant got his phone back? in the day of the second phone extraction? 566. Do you have an opportunity to review those uh, the iMessages from that phone? Did the relationship continue? Yes, it did. Now, I want to take you back to the Haddon County Police Department on the morning of October 13, 2015. What time did you arrive there to meet with the defendant? Uh, approximately, I want to say 10, 12 a.m. And where was uh, the defendant's iPhone at that point? When I arrived in the detective bureau, his phone was on one of the detectives' desks. Do you recall hearing that phone go off at any point? Yes, it went off, uh, I believe, several times. It was on vibrate, I believe, and it went off several times during the So it was vibrating? You were able to hear it? Yes, sir. Now, uh, the photos from the second phone, did you have an opportunity to observe photographs from that second phone? Yes, I did. Did you have an opportunity to review uh, photos of the corresponding geolocations from those photos? Yes, sir.
Do you recognize them? Yes, I do. And uh, what are they? They are uh, pictures that were taken from the defense second gun charge. And there are also maps? Yes, there's also geolocations for uh, some of the pictures. Are they true and accurate uh, pictures of the phone All right, then I move S389 for the S397 in evidence, Sean. All right, then it will be accepted in evidence by stipulation. Detective Rose, would it assist you in testifying to have the instruction report to note the geolocations and time for those photos taken? Yes, sir. Can I find my first witness? That was marks S399 for identification for purposes. Yes, October 17, 2015? Yes, sir. And uh, are you able to see what this screenshot is? <coughs> yes, I do. What is that? It's a message thread from uh, Snapchat. And what's the name on top of the message thread? It says Giovanni. Are you able to see who the carrier is on S3 Yes, sir. It says Verizon LTE. And what time was this screenshot taken? 1019. That was on October 17, 2015? Yes, sir. Are you able to read uh, who the exchange between Giovanni is with? Yes. And uh, who, who does it state that with? It says it's Giovanni and me. Can you read uh, the interaction? Sure. Notice I'm talking to two different people on Snapchat. This is Giovanni. Laugh out loud. Who are you talking to that you fucked? Uh, me, my boyfriend, Giovanni. Oh. That makes sense. Uh, Ryan face. Um, possibly making out with another girl. Hey, did you like my boobs? Question mark. Giovanni. Ha uh ha. -huh, yeah. That screen chart was taken October 17, 2015. Yes, sir. Next one to take a look at. This is S390. That's what we're looking at here. You're looking at a skyscraper in New York City. Do you know when this photo was taken? This was taken October 28, 2015. At what time? Approximately 8.36. 8.36 a.m. or p.m.? Yeah. <laughs> did this photo have geolocation data at that time? Yes, it did. Did you plot that geolocation data? Yes, I did. That's 391. What are we looking at here? You're looking at New York City. Uh, this photo is taken in close proximity to the World Trade Center. And we see the, the, the name image 2012. What does that depict? Uh, that's just the, the image that it fell in the, the sequential order of the extraction. That's the name of the image of the skyscraper from the phone? Yes. Is that accurate? Yes, sir. Where is this photo depicted in relation to Space University? Several blocks. <coughs> Again, that's October 28, 2015, 8.36 p.m. Yes, sir. We look at S392. Yes, sir. And uh, where's S392? It is uh, image 2726. It is uh, a picture of a squirrel on the bench. And when was that photo taken? Uh, it was taken on uh, October 29, 2015 at 1.13 p.m. Did, you, did that photo have geolocation data attached to it? Yes, it did. And did you plot that data? Yes, I did. And what are we looking at? S393. You're, <coughs> you're looking at uh, geolocation here. Is this where that data plot? Yes, sir. Again, image 2726, that refers to the squirrel picture? Yes, sir. And where is that in relation to the patient? Again, it's several blocks. Next photo, can you tell us what we're looking at here? Yes, you're looking at image. Is that 394 yes, for the record? 2067. That was this image is of the defendant and his girlfriend, the hedgehog, 
Salty Toyota, which was taken on October 30, 2015, at 11.59 a.m. Did that, this photo have geolocation data at that point? Yes, it did. And where was this photo taken? This photo was taken at the defense residence on Virginia Avenue. We're looking at S395. Is that where you plotted that geolocation data? Yes, sir. Image 2067, that refers to that picture of uh, Julie Stancy and the defendant with the hedgehog? Yes, sir. And you said that's uh, residence on Virginia Avenue. Whose residence is that? That is the defense marriage. And that photo, again, is taken October 30th, 2015, 1159 a.m.? Yes, sir. Looking at photo of S396, can you tell us what this is? <laughs> and that was on October 31st, 2015? Yes. Halloween? Yes, sir. Did you have geolocation data attached to that photo? Yes, I did. Did you plot that geolocation? Yes, I did. Where did that photo plot to? It was the defense parents residence on the GM. And that's what we're looking at in S397? Yes, sir. Now, is that image 2784, that's the image that we saw uh, Julie Stensky, the selfie? Yes, sir. It's your understanding that in order for the photo to have geolocation data, it needs to be taken from that phone. Is that right? Correct. Good. Yeah. <coughs> now, you had an opportunity to review the text messages and uh, be able to review the other times that the defendant and Julie Stensky were together? Yes, sir. Were they together on November 14, 2015? <coughs> yes, sir. Were they together at a fire in Adam Township on November 21, 2015? Yes, sir. What did they do the weekend of November 27, 2015? And what's the focus? And uh, you know what an Airbnb is? Yes. What's an Airbnb? It's like uh, it's a hotel website that anyone can basically turn their house into like a, like a bedroom room out. Uh, advertise an Airbnb website for um, an outdoor daily rate, such as hotel rate. Did the defendant really stay in Airbnb? Yes, it did. How many Airbnbs did he stay in? This? I believe it was two. Did you see text of them that showed that they were together on November 30th, 2015? Yes, sir. Were they together on December 9th, 2015? Yes, sir. Were they together on December 18th, 2015? Yes, sir. Were they together, together on December 20th, 2015? Yes, sir. Were they together on Christmas in that county? Yes, sir. Were they together on New Year's in that event? Yes, sir. Were they together at Dave and Buster's on January 9th? Yes, sir. Now, uh, over the holidays, did you have to serve Julie Stensky with a subpoena? Yes, I did. And when was that? That was New Year's Day. New Year's Day, January 2016? Yes, sir. And uh, what time did you serve with a subpoena? It was in the morning. And where was she at when you served? She was at the defendant's uh, parents' house. On January 11th, was there uh, surveillance conducted? in relation to this case in the area of 22 Virginia Avenue uh, in Patton County. Yes, sir. Julie Stensky located there at that time? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who objected and what's this in that big road person? Mm -hmm. The Washington. Yes, that's that's my knowledge. No, my my objection to what's this is up in the big road. The scene. Well, let me see council side one.
this is very accurate. Uh, I think you have a portion of their conversation from December 2nd, 2014. Yes, sir. I move S-400 into evidence, Your Honor. Fuck you. No objection to you, man. And a request to publish to the jury. <coughs> Yes, sir. From uh, Julie. I don't want this long term defendant. What? Question mark. Uh, again, for the defendant, question mark. Again, for the defendant, question mark, question mark. Again, for the defendant, question mark, question mark. Defendant, what? Long term question mark. The defendant, question mark. From Julie, this relationship. From the defendant, why? Question mark. From the defendant, because you have been talking to Gio. The defendant, why do you say this to me when I'm at work to give me really bad anxiety? From Julie, no, because I finished the fourth question of politics and realized something. From the defendant, what question mark? From Julie, remember, remember how I always complain that nothing you and I do is new to you? Question mark. From the defendant, yes, but that's not true. From Julie, well, that's how I feel about having kids. It'll obviously be new to me, but not to you. I want my partner to experience something like that with me for the first time. From, again, from the, uh, Julie. It's true in, the, in this situation. Again, from Julie. So sorry. From the defendant, it will be new for me too. From Julie. But I won't have kids with you. From Julie. No, it won't. From Julie. It might be different, but not new. From Julie. You've been <coughs> through it before. From Julie. Sorry, dude. From the defendant, it will be, it will be a completely different person. It won't be the same experience as my, my past. Worry about the future. <clears throat> From the defendant, you're going to upset yourself if I think about the past that I did. If I think about yours. From Julie, I said it would be different. Would you like it? From Julie, what's upset, upsetting about my past? Question mark. What that I'm not a virgin? Question mark. Well, neither were you want to mention. From the defendant, I want to move forward with you. My past doesn't matter. From the defendant, I don't think about the past things I've done. I want to live in the present and the future. Defendant, and think big picture. From Julie, it matters because it, it influences who you are today. From Julie, it obviously matters. To get to Julie, what big picture question mark? They done it all before question mark. That only that it's only different. Not new, not new for you question mark. That you've been there and seen, seen it and lived through it, and it doesn't feel good anymore because it's not question mark. From the defendant, don't you like who I am today question mark. For the most part, yes. From the defendant, who's new, they explain why I didn't Skype later. From Julie, but not always. From Julie, no it's not. How is it new if, if you've done it before? From the defendant, I explain later. I can't, I can't really know. From Julie, neither can I. And don't worry, I don't need to need to implement an explanation. From the defendant, what is new? From Julie, no it's just different. Defendant. I'm a different person than I was then from Julie, which is what makes it different from, it, from the defendant. I would be a different person no matter what from the defendant. I completely understand what you're saying and how you're feeling. I would like to talk about it with you and I actually have time to talk and discuss it from the defendant. It's good that you're communicating what upsets you when we can talk about it. Is that an accurate depiction of the, comments, of the portion of the conversation in the text message in December 2014? Yes, sir. Now, the 9,017 text messages between November 23rd, 2015 and January 11th, 2016. Um, do you recall how many days passed between November 23rd, 2015 and January 11th, 2016? 49 days. Did you average out how many text messages that sent between the two of them a day? Approximately 180. Are you able to do keyword searches through those text messages? Yes, sir. Did you do a keyword search for the word Brendan? Yes, sir. How many times did the word Brendan come up? None. Thank you, Detective Brooks. That's all the questions I have.
Just one moment. Yeah. <laughs> 
<coughs> that, that, that data belongs to the file, right? So this has been asking this I'm just trying to make sure I understand. Oh, that was the that, that metadata, the, the geolocation data, belongs to the file. I, I believe it belongs to the file, sir.
screenshot he took on his phone of the conversation she was having with this other guy he was potentially jealous of. Right? Yes, sir. And he was jealous of other guys too, right? There were other times yes. over the course of the relationship. Um, did you ever talk to that fellow Giovanni Porter? Yes, I did. And it's I'm correct that when you talked to him about Julie Stansky, the first time you met him, was in the call for years. Your Honor, where is he counts inside? Photographs, and that's why he couldn't send them. 
seven to four days. Why did you send the rest of them? Sir, I could not uh, extract, I couldn't parse, I couldn't parse out. So it was 20 photographs and videos of the defense girlfriend. I extract, I either put all the images on the extraction or take all the images off. I could print off 9,000 9, photographs with, uh, if there was metadata on it. Well, it's not, it's not printing, right? It's copying? Well, we're going to print, yeah, we're going to put that to print the photos. Cornerstone's a private company, right? They're not a law enforcement company? That's correct. Did they have the ability <coughs> to, to, to parse out 9,000 photographs? I have no. That's a question I don't have the answer. Did you ever ask them? I don't recall that question being asked. I have nothing else to do with that. The direct answer.